A CEREMONY TODAY TO HONOR FALLEN MILITARY VETERANS AND IT ALMOST DIDN'T HAPPEN. THAT'S BECAUSE THESE VETERANS WHO HAD NO ONE TO MAKE SURE THEY HAD PROPER MILITARY FUNERALS, THAT IS, UNTIL A SPECIAL PROJECT STOOD UP FOR THEM. NINE ON YOUR SIDE, uh, CRAIG SMITH WAS THERE FOR PART OF THE HONORS. CRAIG? You know, these were veterans who became nearly invisible to the country they served. They lost touch with their families, then died, and had no one to make sure they had the military burial they earned. For 14 of them, that changed today. The bronze boxes hold 14 men and women who served in uniform, then returned to civilian life where they had no family and friends able to bury them. We're trained to do one thing and one thing only, and when we come home and family can't understand what it was that we were doing, we start self-medicating. We start drifting away from families and stuff, and that's how we end up with where we're at now. That's why the Missing in America Project stepped in to make sure the veterans are buried with the honors they earned with their service. He always wore that smile on his face and made others so happy. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Donna Reinhardt remembers when Senior Master Sergeant Johnny Lee Singleton was young, strong, and happy before illness dragged him down. He died at the gate to his home. It was Veterans Day. Colonel Reinhardt says his niece and elderly mother just don't have the means to see him buried, but she's happy to see him head to an honored rest. Like I told his niece that he hadn't seen in 18 years, he calls her the little girl. He, I just told her, I told her and texted her. I said, this is the way Johnny wanted to go out. He really wanted to go and be buried in the desert. He wanted a full military ceremony, which he never would have thought. And I said, he's just smiling down on us right now. But there was one last ride through the desert sun, to Sierra Vista, where the military cemetery there will be the final rest for 14 men and women who were not forgotten after all. Now the Gadara Funeral Home donated urns for the remains and donated other services needed to get those veterans their funerals with those full military honors.